Yeah. Welcome back, you beautiful people, to another GMBN shoot. But this time, it's all with a bit of a twist. Can you teach any idiot to ride trials? Well, I've got an idea. <laughs> okay, Hank, you're no beginner to cycling, are you? Actually, you're elite level in your own sport. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but you're something of a newbie to mountain biking. Fair? 100%. Yeah. yeah, so I thought with Blake's assistance, we'd find your level in trials riding and we'd see if we could improve this poor chap. See if we can give him some skills. He's taken on the mega avalanche this year and a little bit of trials might come in handy. So let's see how good we can do. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> First things first, Hank does ride clips, so we put some flats. Next up, he always rides with it up, it's a saddle, but let's slam it. He's all about hard gears and spinning out, but let's make the gear even easier. It'll help him in this challenge. So first things first, Blake and Hank are just going through the paces. Uh, we're basically trying to smize, what can Hank do? Because like I said, he's no beginner. Um, and he's got one of their fundamental skills pretty dialed most of the time, um, which is the track stand, which might be something that lots of you out there really struggle with. It feels like a fundamental trial skill. And that is true, but let me show you something you can do instead that will get you getting confidence in trials much quicker, and then it will lead onto the track stand. So if you're finding the track stand pretty difficult, and it is uh, a tedious thing to practice at times, it's really hard to learn. Look at what Blake's doing. We've got a little bit of a grade in here. It's just perfect. Okay, so he's just trying to roll as slow as he can. It's all on the brakes. He's just letting the bike go down that gradient and just braking and trying to go slow. Because trials isn't about stopping and balancing. It's about negotiating a course, uh, deciding what you're gonna do before you get there and do it, um, and being able to ride with control. So it's not all track stands, um, but Hank has mastered the track stand. He's already worked out which foot he's got forward. He's got a genius Blake showing him how to ride. So we're gonna test him, find something he can't do, and see if we can fix it. Go that first so brilliant. we're making Hank a little bit of a trial section that requires a few different skills because I really want to find his level because he's actually got a few tricks up his sleeve, um, which I'm quite impressed by. So Blake's leading him around this course uh, and I'm evaluating where he's at. That's a hard bit. Yes! That was well good. Nice, hard, nice. I like this line, I like this line. What about this, Hank? Up over the other uh, way. Nah. It's a bit trickier. Can't do that. Well, that's what we want to find. We want to find the thing you can't do and fix it and make you a better trials rider. I mean, quite nerve wracking because it's, do you know what I mean? If you fall off, it's quite a long way to go. Let's try it. Right. What's the worst that could happen? Exactly, people. What's the worst that could happen? Send it. <laughs> Don't hurt, don't hurt yourself, Hank. I like you. I love you. I mean, I love you. Yeah, and we, don't hurt yourself. And got... That didn't go quite <laughs> to plan, but <laughs> yeah. But what happened there, right, is that you basically just got a bit caught up in your pedals. And if you think about it, the big difference for Hank now is that you're usually on clips. Yeah. And actually, going on flat pedals can be a bit strange sometimes because you get an awful lot of control from your clips. So that's another thing's worth trying. If you've got clips, maybe go out and ride around on them on a flat shoe just to get the feeling because you'll get this freedom of movement, which is very trials riding. But there is the added danger of what Hank just had is basically you can't get off them pins. Yeah. So you basically add it, but you got a bit caught up. So I reckon just a little bit more speed into it, confident. He's a burly dude, he can do it. Let's yeah. have another go. What, what, what bit did you struggle with? I think it's like, I'm good at getting the front wheel up. Yeah. It's just That's what they shift, all say. Yeah. shifting the weight yeah. forward to get the rear up. Yeah, I think if you've got enough momentum coming out of that corner, you should be all right. Lift your front up and just roll right over it. And then kind of wrap it. the feet. Yeah, and yeah, ride, ride right over it with a bit of momentum. Momentum's key. Yeah, okay. All right, let's go. Woo! Yes! Oh. 
<laughs> Trials is tricky. Low speed sounds safe, but it isn't. Um, one thing I've noticed that's really uh, key to trials riding at this kind of level is like, making sure you get your pedal strokes right. Um, obviously, you've got a front foot forward, Hank's right foot forward, but as he's coming into this, he needs the momentum so he can rest on that right foot before he hops the front wheel up. Otherwise, he's got to have his left foot forward and do a full pedal stroke to get the wheelie into action and be on his right foot on top of the rock. See what I mean? Okay, we've got we've got a really good student today. <laughs> yeah. We've got a good student. Oh, good. <laughs> So we've got Hank to kind of crawl to walk and he's doing pretty well, but I think we need another crash. So we're going to go in this sprinting, not sprinting really. We're going to come in slow. So all those things you've learned over there, we're going to adapt it to the logs. Take a look at this. So you're going to bump up this right along. I think we need to see another crash. Hopefully not. Right along here, all well, the way. Well, Keep the balance. Yeah. You don't worry about that. Go out of there and then drop off and go through the gates. But there is a gate that you have to negotiate over there. So you have to go through the gate, up onto the logs, do both logs, drop off, exit the gate. Mate, you, you were explaining that like it's easy. I can barely balance on just standing. Yeah. I don't think, I haven't even done it. <laughs> Guys, let us know in the comment section below if you think I'm gonna make it. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, whoa, mate. In order to make this exciting, we yeah. need to chuck in some forfeits. You <laughs> think, how good do you think you get you up? Uh, you think you're I'm good. I'm good, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm good. not so good. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna give you two runs. Two? If, yeah, if you don't make it, you have to do a forfeit. And I'm gonna give myself 10 chances. Yeah, <laughs> the ratio there is out of order, but anyway, uh, yeah. watch this. Hey, this is my show. Yeah. And <laughs> the loser yeah. has to jump in the glacial lake on the mega! I wish I went in the lake. I'd probably go in the lake. Go on, Hank. He's got 10 goes to do this. It is simple. It's all about momentum and balance. But doing the slow stuff on the fire road, it, it's right there. It's just a bit more skinnier. Blake! Nice. You did it. I well did it. Nailed done. it. First go, sorry. Well done. So, no cold lake for you. No shrinky winky for me. Essentially means, Hank, you got 10 goes or you're going swimming. Look down. Ah! That's it, that's it. Yeah. How many? Relax, three. Relax, one. Terrifying, man. Relax. Well, he's not shy. He's having a good go at it. Here we go, go number four. Number four. That's, that's it. it. That's it. Ah! Yes! Hank! Yes! Yes! yes. Four goes! Just kiss. <laughs> that's actually really good. I bet you wanted to see us go in the lake or not. Should we go in the lake anyway? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> that was confident, but it was near, nearly di that. disaster at the yeah, end there. But um, yeah, very good. He's got some good skills, oh, good him. balance, but I think we might need to find something that tests him a bit more. Go. Well, he's done it once. Let's get him to do it a few more times, get confident, and see what else we can push him. <laughs> this is a really good obstacle because it's really fun to do. It's not mega dangerous. There's lots of runoff if it goes wrong, but let's make it a little bit harder. Let's see if they can stop on that second log, then carry on and get off the end. I think Blake will even find this one hard. Maybe Hank will beat him to it. Who knows? Imagine that. Oh, oh, 
Austin. <laughs> That was f***ing it! You're going so fast at this one now! That's it! Yes! Whoa. Hey, you're so close! So close! Oh, I got him! What was Hank doing? He's doing really well, but I know the situation he's in right now is stressful because he wants to do it and he's getting knackered. He's getting tired. But I think he's going to nail it right now. He's nailed it. He's nailed the, uh, I don't know what you call that. It was like, uh, I don't know. Not the 50-50. <laughs> a kind of 50-50 case. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, go, 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 go! Hank! Ah! <laughs> ah! Mate, on the last attempt! On the last attempt. Get in! Get yeah, in! Woo! So there you have it. The question at the start was, can we teach any idiot to ride trials? The first thing was, could we find any idiots? Well, that was easy. Could we teach them to do trials? Turns out we could. Good, eh? <laughs> Give trials a go, give it a bit of practice, start with a really, really fundamental basics and soon you'll be like Hank, just smashing out the sections, no problem. Good luck, people. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. See you later.